What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight. Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Half Moon Run. Yes, indeed, how about that? Half Moon Run making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Vegard. I hope that's, that's right, V-E-G-A-R-D, Vegard. And uh, Vegard wanted to see me react to this song by Half Moon Run called Razor Blade. Who are these guys? It's Razor and Blade. Find a payphone in a remote loop. Razor and Blade. That's right, this is a payphone. Don't, Don't ask. ask. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by CBC Music, okay? And the video has 50,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Half Moon Run, Razor Blade, CBC Music. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Is there someone you can argue with? They will catch you if you fall. Someone else that you can talk to Is there a neighbor you can call? Cause there's a cancer in our children And we put it in their mouth Boys and all the waterways And choke the air to death Stacking bodies at the gates to get a glimpse For it is ultimate salvation Without the troubles of the poor When not one question lingers There's an answer and a cure But there you are Your face wrapped around a cigarette But you tell me nothing Blinding joy you'd find in a bedroom of the star Fades with the 
color from your cheeks is your smiles like a scar and this potency of promise dilutes and void of right the convictions of the honest are obscured confused uh. be honest here i mean we, we we can be honest with each other right I, I i feel like you guys have been watching the channel long enough this channel's existed long enough that y you know who i am and you know how i am and y you know how i feel about songs like this I, I i think we all know where this is gonna go i must break you I cannot wait for this to be over. I can't. I'm sorry. This, this, this song just does... It's not doing anything for me. It is not my wheelhouse. It is not my jam. It is not my cup of tea. I do not like songs like this. I really don't. I just... I feel like... This is just me personally. I just feel like songs like this are just an absolute and complete utter waste of time and talent. Um... It, it it just drones on and on. It's like ah, uh, there's no. It it, it just it, it just circles the ball, man. It, it just it really does. It doesn't go anywhere. There's no energy. There's no life behind this. It's just yeah, shut up. Anyway, I I am not I am not enjoying myself. I just I just looked at the time. We got another four and a half minutes of this. I already feel like it's been four minutes. We're only at two and a half. It already feels like four. Um, no, I, I am not enjoying this song at all. I'm really not. I, I Seriously, I cannot wait for this to be over. Having said that, while I may not necessarily like the song, I am fascinated, absolutely fascinated by how they're creating the song. They are really spreading themselves out and covering multiple bases. Um, the most obvious, the drummer. He's got the drums going with the right hand while he's playing the bass line on a keyboard with the left. He's, he's covering two voicings. I, I don't understand why, but I, 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 the talent and the ability is unquestionable. I mean, to be able to do both at the same time, that is not easy. It is absolutely not easy. And I will give him all the credit in the world for pulling it off, not, not just for being able to pull it off, but to pull it off as well as, he, as he's pulling it off. Same thing over here. We got keyboard set up, synthesizer set up, drum pad set up, and then actual percussion over here. He's covering all of it. Again, there's no denying the talent. There's no denying the ability. I mean, they, he's he's multifaceted and pulling it off well. Same thing here. Guitarist covering the guitar parts and synthesizer parts as well as backing vocals. Again, talent. Absolutely. This gentleman over here doing the lead vocals, also playing guitar. I also saw him playing mandolin. He's also got, I haven't seen him do this yet, but he's got a floor tom set up over here. Uh on a rack, oddly enough, uh, with a symbol. Is he, is he gonna utilize this at some point during the during the performance? I don't know, maybe. I also see a keyboard over here. Perfect for him to walk over and play. They are all covering everything they need to do. They're making them sound, they're making themselves sound like a six or seven piece band and there's just four of them. I may not like the song, but it is it is fun to watch them create it. I will absolutely give them credit for that. And especially in a live setting. They have an audience in studio. I, I see faces over here. When we were facing him, I saw faces in people behind him and behind him over here. They have they have people in the audience, so this is live. Um, it's interesting. I will absolutely give it that. But as far as the song itself goes, <laughs> oh God. It, uh, no, 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 no. No, God 
please, no! 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 Not enjoying it at all. Um, cannot wait for this to be over, not gonna lie. Uh, let's, let's keep going here. Wrapped around a cigarette, but you tell me nothing. Just like everybody else. Ooh, and I know I'm not quite right. Oh, it's the keyboard player, the mandolin. Okay. My bad. wondering how much longer we had to go i was wondering how much longer we had to go i'm like please tell me we're almost at the end and we, we were luckily it felt like felt like an eternity. 
eternity. Um, yeah, seven minutes and twelve. Try ten. This felt like a ten minute long song. Um, yeah, oh, good lord. Anyway, um, oh gosh. All right, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Half Moon Run with Razorblade. This was a request from Vegard. I'm just going to come out and say it. Ah, uh, good Lord, this was rough. Oh, man. <laughs> good Lord. I hated this. I absolutely did. The song... Seven minutes and 11 seconds. Yeah, that might be what it says, but boy, it felt like at least 10 minutes long. This song just went on forever. Uh, it, it, it just dragged. And I'm just, I'm not a fan of this style of music. I'm not. I, it just, it, it's its not my cup of tea, guys. It really isn't. It's not in my bag. Um, I, I'm just glad it's over. I, I'm glad it's over. I never have to listen to this again because it's, yeah, I, I, I can guarantee you, hey, it, it, <laughs> this is never going on a playlist. There is no chance in hell of this song ever going on a playlist. Funny thing is, on a scale of 1 to 10, believe it or not, I'm going to give that an 8.1. Yeah, 8.1. Believe me, folks. <laughs> Nobody is more surprised at that score than me. I hated this song, but there's no denying it is deserving of that 8.1. Let me tell you why. Why? <laughs> I'm I'm still looking at that score and 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 wonder is that right? Is that really what the song deserves? And the answer is yes. Despite my own personal feelings, putting those aside and looking at the song objectively, it absolutely deserves that 8.1, which is equal to a great skill rating. So at the end of the day, I, it's a great song. Uh, it also deserves four to five stars in an A minus letter grade. So there you go, an 8.1, great skill rating, Four to five stars in an A minus letter grade. Now, <laughs> how did I come up with that score? So glad you asked. I have said this time and time again on the channel. I don't have to love a song to give it a great score. I don't. I, as a matter of fact, in this situation, in this case, I hated the song. I absolutely hated the song. I detested the song. Uh, but there's no denying looking at the song from an objective standpoint it deserves an 8.1 um they did absolutely nothing wrong from a chordal progression standpoint from a from an arrangement standpoint melodics and harmonics standpoint everything sounded fine from a rhythmic standpoint everything sounded just fine everything sounded really good across the board I don't necessarily like the style of music. I don't. I, I detest it. But at the same time, there's no denying it. There's absolutely no denying it. Everything sounded really nice across the board. Um, everything made sense. Nothing. And I mean nothing. Stood, stood out like a sore thumb. Um, I know people are wondering, what about the vocal effects that the keyboard player was utilizing with that vocal, you know, with that separate mic look hooked up through the synthesizer. Here's the thing. They didn't overuse it. They used it very sporadically. I think they only used it a grand total of three times through the course of a seven minute long song. Every time they did it, it was impactful. It signified the transition into the next phrase. So, I got no issue with it. It had reason, it had purpose, and it did add overall to the song. It was not a distraction. So I got no issue with it. Instrumentally, um, everybody sounded just fine covering their parts. Everybody sounded good. Everybody clearly knows the instruments that they're playing and they utilized them well. Um, the song as a whole, while I, again, while I may not like it, there's no denying that the chordal progression, pleasing to the ear, 
vocals pleasing to the ear, the main melodic line and the harmonics with it, very pleasing to the ear. It fit the context of the song without question. Um, the the change, uh, the, the, the tempo change, very welcome, very much something needed to happen. Could you imagine if this song just kept going at its original pace for over seven minutes? Can you imagine that? I, I shudder to think what would have happened if that had been the case, but they didn't do that. They added that decelerando to a slower tempo, slightly heavier feel, uh, heavier handed feel for sure, much more uh, based around rhythmic patterns more than melodic patterns. And I, I, I appreciated that, I did. I'm really glad they did it. What really pushed this over the top out of the really goods into the greats was watching them play this live and how they made themselves as a four piece band sound like a six or seven piece band. Everybody covering multiple parts. You had the drummer over there doing the drum parts while with right hand and feet while the left hand was covering the bass line. Now, I will say this, I wish we heard that bass line a little bit more consistently throughout the entire song. I do feel like at times the bottom end was dreadfully missing, but no denying the talent it takes to do what he was doing with the right hand doing the, and the feet covering the drums, left hand covering the bass line, takes talent. I couldn't do it, so I, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Same thing with the keyboardist uh, slash synthesizer slash mandolin player slash backing vocalist covering and, and slash drummer covering uh, and co covering all these aspects and he did it well and he did it seamlessly. Uh, the lead guitarist also doing backing vocals, also doing acoustic guitar, also doing lead guitar for the guitar solo. Um, gotta give him credit. Transitioning well, smoothly, smoothly. Um, the lead vocalist doing, you know, the lead vocals, obviously, and the guitar parts. I thought he was doing the mandolin part at first, but apparently that's the keyboard player. Um, everything was seamless. And here's the thing. If you closed your eyes, you weren't watching the video. You just closed your eyes and listened to this. Listening to the individual parts, you would swear there was at least six, maybe seven people in that studio. And there wasn't. It was four guys doing it in a live setting in front of a live crowd. Folks, gotta give credit where credit's due. That is not easy to do, it is not easy to pull off, and not only do they pull it off, they pulled it off seamlessly, and they pulled it off well. That's what bumped them up into the eights. Now who can argue with that? Robert. I was actually contemplating an eight point, uh, I'll be honest with you folks, I was actually contemplating about an 8.2, 8.3, somewhere in there. But like I said, the song did drag. It did feel longer than it actually was. I think if they had shaved about, I don't know, a minute and a half to two minutes off the total time and made it like a five and a half to, to five minute long song, I think the song would have gone a lot smoother. and. As a result, we may have had a higher score. It would not have felt as long, but as it is in 8.1, it's still getting a great scale rating. And to be perfectly honest, folks, the difference between an 8.1 and an 8.2 is negligible. It's, it, it, there's no difference. It still would have gotten a great scale rating. It still would have gotten four to five stars and it still would have gotten an A minus letter grade. So don't lose your heads over it, all right? But no, in 8.1, uh, despite my personal feelings, despite the fact that I hated this and I could not wait for this to be over, there's no denying it was a great song and a great performance. So yeah, 8.1, I feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got an 8.1, which believe it or not, is a great skill rating, four to five stars and an A minus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care. Whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. 
it honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me but if you guys feel like doing these things well then by all means feel free to do so well that's gonna do it for the night folks thank you very much for watching and as always this is david heretic signing off reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other later peace